Hey everyone, my name is Julie. If you're new here, I am 50 years old. I'm a makeup artist and hairstylist, and I am here to talk all things beauty, focusing more on women my age, but most of this is relatable to anybody at any age. So today is a maintenance day. I've actually been unwell for the past couple days, and my skin is so fair. Um, just from being sick and then I haven't been self tanning or anything like that But this is a perfect opportunity to do all the things that I want to do like get rid of the hair on my face um, Do a little bit of self tanning. I also have a new product to try and it's the Saint Tropez self tanning Lux tan tonic drops So I'm gonna use this as well and then I'll do a check-in later to see how my skin looks once it's all developed so if you think that this channel is for you, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'm going to be uploading on a more regular basis. I'm gonna to try to get a schedule. I'm just not sure what that is yet. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first I'm going to shave my face. I feel like I'm looking very bright on this. It may take me a little bit to figure out this camera. I'm so used to doing my TikTok videos on my phone camera. And honestly, my phone camera is so good, but I'm really not techie when it comes to this type of camera. I've got a Sony, what did I get? ZV-1. So if anyone has experience with this and can tell me what I can do differently, that would be great. I have a new package of the Touch and Brow. I get these at Sally's. You can get them online as well on Amazon. I will put a link for Amazon in my description box below. I'm gonna do this dry today. I have been doing it with oil because it does feel nice with oil but I know I want to self tan and I don't want any oil residue on my skin when I go to self tan, so I'm just gonna do this dry. It would be very helpful if I had a mirror, but I do behind the camera. <laughs> oh, it's blinding me. All right, so when I shave my face, I'm gonna hold it tight and I'm going to go up. Now, you can go down. I've seen people do it all different ways. As long as you don't go over the same area multiple times to irritate your skin, Whatever works for you is fine. And you can't really see the hair on my face, but I can see it when I go to put makeup on. So many women uh, would come into me when I worked at Sephora and wonder why their makeup wasn't sitting properly. And it was because honestly, it was the fur on their face, that little peach fuzz, because foundation will stick to that peach fuzz. And if you can get that off, your skin is gonna look so much cleaner and smoother. Plus it's a great exfoliator. And because I'm exfoliating my skin, my serums and everything go in that much better. And I shave my whole face. There's peach fuzz everywhere. I can see it falling in front of my eye. I'm just using the viewfinder right now. And I will take it right down to my brow. I don't wanna to touch it. I just wanna get all those fuzzies off in between. Remember the days where they told you if you shaved it would grow back darker? That's not the case with this type of hair. This hair is, um, Oh, I knew the name of it. This hair's like baby hair and it's different than a man's beard. It's not the same at all. And there's a name for it for some reason. I can't find the name in my head, but I, I did post a video on TikTok a long time ago about this explaining it all. The only reason that your hair will grow thicker and darker is hormonal changes. So it's not because you shave. Now, you may feel like it feels a bit coarser when it comes in, but that's because your hair grows like from thick to thin. So we are cutting it off at a thick part, and that's why it may feel like it's coming back a little bit coarse, but once it grows in, it's gonna come back to that pointy shape again, and it will feel nice and soft. If you do it once and you don't like it, you don't ever have to do it again. Make sure that you have a fresh razor. If it starts getting dull, you'll have a hard time. And I like to get right in here. These are really blonde and fuzzy. And sometimes in between waxing, I will do my eyebrows. So I will today. I'm just gonna be very, very careful. And that feels good to me. Now the tool I'm gonna show you is very expensive. Don't feel like you have to invest in something like this. I feel like I kinda got suckered in. I was at a makeup show in New York and the salesperson was really good and, and I had a little bit of an off day. So I purchased this. This is by Elevere and it is a red light therapy. So it's an anti-aging therapy. It's supposed to build collagen. But since I've splurged on this, I have seen other masks that are a lot less expensive. You'll see when I touch my face, it will go on. And when you lift off, it'll go off. Okay, so this is from their site. Elevere Skin is proud to be a prolific leader in the aesthetic devices market 
committed to producing the most effective systems of LED and light therapy for skin rejuvenation and healing. Oh yeah, and this is the other thing that got me. First developed by NASA, the same technology used in aloe vera's devices was found through clinical trials to support the healing of human tissue by NASA. I think I'm actually supposed to do it in a lifting motion. Probably would be helpful for me to watch the instructional video again. I can leave a link in the description box below for sure for you so you can research it a little bit more. Oh, here's a good illustration. There's your skin before. There's your skin when it's got the red light therapy on it. And then there is your skin after. I brought a bunch of skincare in with me, but I really want to focus on this first. Simply blend two to six drops, it says with your moisturizer or your serum. Oh, interesting. And it says it will develop over four to eight hours. So this is what it looks like. How many drops should I try? I've been using the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid because it's nice and thin. So I've got a little bit in my hand and then I'm gonna go one, two, oop, that's a bubble. Wait, two, three, let's do three. Oh, it smells good. I want it coming down my neck though, so I'm going to apply more. And when I tan my face, I make sure to get all behind my ears. All right, so I guess I put my moisturizer on after. It feels so weird to put a moisturizer on after the drops. All right, I'm going to check back in 48 hours. 48? No, 4 to 8 hours. And let's see what this does, if we can notice a difference. I think we will be able to. I like Saint Tropez, so we'll see. Okay, I'm back. I applied these at... 1.30, quarter to two, and now it is 10 minutes to 10 o'clock. And I wanted to show you the after. I feel like um, it it's very subtle. So I think how I'd use these drops is definitely just adding the drops in with my moisturizer on the daily because every night before I go to bed, I have some type of serum on or a retinol product on my skin to exfoliate. And that's why I lose my tan so quickly on my face is because I'm washing it morning and night. I'm using my anti-aging serums and it just goes white real fast. So you guys let me know. Do you see a difference? I'm going to do a before and after picture. I'll probably insert it here. I'm going to keep using it and see what this does as I use it day to day. And I will give you an updated video on that. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. That will help me out so much. And it will also allow you to see all my videos that I post on a regular basis. And I hope this helps and I will see you later. Bye.